Thank you. The gentle lady, uh, Representative Radawagon, is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Chairwoman. And I want to welcome all of you here today. Special welcome to uh, Sean. And um, let's see. So some may think CSR means only one philanthropy or environmental <laughs> sustainability. And some may think companies don't do enough in all areas of CSR. How can we recognize all efforts in a way that encourages people to follow their conscience towards what is most needed? Dr. Strand. You know, purpose is such a strong motivator. And I think each and every one of us, we can connect on purpose. And it might mean different things to different people, what that purpose is. But I think this is something that, a reason I welcome the business roundtables expression is, I think it opens up the door for us to be able to actually talk about things that historically weren't allowed in the rough and tumble sort of uh, financially oriented of model of capitalism that we have here in the States. And I think that purpose is such a strong motivator. And I have the privilege to work with these wonderful students every single day. They want to work for firms that are purpose driven. They want to work for a firm like yours that is so fundamentally oriented to purpose. So I think that that's something that we need to encourage and, and foster. Mr. Arroyo. Yeah, I'd like to second that. I think having a purpose-driven organization or small business is a great way to make sure that, you know, we're not doing pro or we're not seeking profit for profit's sake, but it's a tool to allow us to solve problems. Um, and one of the things I, I do want to comment on is, you know, we we can think of capitalism and government almost as a mentor for a lot of us, right? Set, uh, setting guidelines for small business owners to think about how can we do this better? And a lot of times people, entrepreneurs enter the, the small business world with no barriers or not understanding how they can do this better. So we can provide that framework for them uh, to, to do things in a good way. Ms. Wallace. So, met the majority of entrepreneurs are creating businesses to solve their problems and the problems that are are meaningful to them that need to be solved. So they're laser focused on on that aspect of it, but there is a greater framework that ties into not just solving the problem, but building a business that is sustainable and long term. There's resources, there's funding, of which there's a great lack of funding when it comes to women and minorities, but there's also the framework for success. So as the CEO of Elevate, when we took our B Corp assessment, we received our score and through that assessment saw a number of ways in which we could improve our, our, our workforce policies, our impact on the world. We made those improvements. We saw not only an increase in our profits, we saw an increase in the retention of our employees and their focus and productivity and their satisfaction with the business. So having the tools and the framework to not just solve the problems that you care about, but to do it successfully and sustainably is a key aspect that I think uh, is, is important to, to create. Mr. Stanley. I, I would echo what Ms. Wallace says. Um, and I do think that the B Corp movement is um, a significant asset in building businesses that are governed well, that are successful, and that are serving some kind of common good. It's interesting with the assessment that's been referred to, the, the assessment g allows 200 points for businesses. And what, it hap what happens is you create a kind of virtuous competition. So Patagonia has been lauded by uh, a, a number of people because we have a score of 152, which is very high for uh, a B Corp. But we're looking at Dr. Bronner's soap company, which has a score of 175, and wondering what we can do in order to improve our practices to reach a level like that. And I, I think that that's the kind of framework that would help a number of small businesses uh, be successful in all ways. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. I yield back the balance of my time. 